cooking soup. Tomato red pepper soup. If only I had some tomatoes and some red peppers. Wait! Tomatoes and red peppers. Well, it is time to give you an update. I suppose I've been promising you an update for ages and never did it. So, uh, as you can see, these are my pepper plants, which you watched me plant way, way back in May. Um, in the quad grows, so this is the first time I've done pepper plants in the quad grows. In fact, I think this is the first time I've done anything other than tomatoes in the quad grows. Um, and super, super happy with it, as you can see. Loads of tomatoes. Uh, no, sorry, loads of peppers. But um, what did what was I telling you about? Well, one of the big issues with the quad grows was slugs. Uh, last year, I did the review at the end of the year, and we opened them up when we finished to clean them, and they were absolutely full of slugs. Didn't affect the tomatoes in any way. They didn't seem to eat the tomatoes, but I was finding lots of peppers were getting munched by slugs. So we thought that's okay. As a test this year, we put some copper tape around the bases of all of them. Uh, the idea being it would stop the slugs climbing up and climbing in. Excellent. Did it work? Mm, sort of. Um, I don't think any slugs climbed up and in. I haven't seen any slug trail slimy stuff to say that they have. However, I was finding, as I said, lots of peppers munched by slugs and slimy trails on the plants and the peppers and this drove me insane for a little bit until I worked out what happens is the slugs are climbing up the walls of the greenhouse and onto the plants that are touching the walls of the greenhouse and getting in that way so um, copper tape seems to have worked but still a slug fail so I have to work on that one because the greenhouse isn't really big enough for me to pull things in and away from the walls so I have to work on that one um, but peppers for you so let me tell you a little bit about the peppers um, in case you fancy trying to grow these in your quad grows because I know quite a lot of you guys out there went and bought quad grows after my last review so what I have I've got three different types of peppers even though I've got four pots so this one here and the one at that end those are called Ariane peppers um, now here's a funny thing that plant I think has been my most successful plant so many big beautiful and very very quick to ripen peppers on that plant this one lots and lots and lots of peppers but they've been much smaller and they haven't really kind of expanded so they don't look bell pepper shaped they're slightly longer and thin and not really kind of what would you call it they haven't gone all juicy and fattened out um, but like I say two of the same plant so I'm wondering if it's because that plant is in the nice corner bit and the sun in the evening from about two o'clock onwards the sun is there right down here so that's getting the most of the sun so i'm wondering if that's to do with it the next one here this is called bellboy and this has given me enormous big fat peppers like big proper huge things but i don't get a lot of them i've only actually had maybe two off of this plant that has got to the point where I could eat it because it takes them so long to grow and ripen the slugs are getting to them before I am um, and this one here is I think tomahawk no mohawk I was close it was a hawk so mohawk f1 again this has given me loads and loads but they're all really really small teeny little peppers and um, not hot peppers just like normal capsicum peppers um, but lots and lots of really small ones um, I have tended to use a lot of these green because they just take so long to ripen as well. So that's my peppers. Fabby. Lots and lots of them. Um, I am actually about to cut loads of these off because we're going to do some soup and they're going in the soup. Um, so I will definitely do this again next year. Um, and like I say, I'm going to try and be a bit more organised about beating the slugs. Don't know how, but somehow I'm going to beat the slugs next year. Oh, 